Hey guys, what's going on? Wasn't expecting to do this, but we're going to have another bonus break. And the reason being, if you saw my video yesterday, uh, I had a toy show, big toy show I was going to, and kind of turned out to be a bomb, to be honest. Um, the things that I actually wanted, some vintage Star Wars stuff, uh, very high priced in some cases overpriced in my opinion and the only thing I was even close in, to agreeing with the dealer on he just he wouldn't go down at all not even 50 bucks and I was telling him look I can do better online and he, he just was firm and I let him keep it so I had some extra money and I had passed a Walmart obviously this was in PA and I live in New Jersey you know not one I'd normally pass and I'd rather make another video for you guys and see what I get than have wasted money at this show overpaying for something so unlike my last ones these are going to be from Walmart look for women's revolution autographs and relics hopefully we'll get something good this was the last two packs they had I know I had said in my previous video, oh, I bought enough, and but again, this is because I had extra money that I did not spend at this toy show. And I don't regret it one bit. You know, I don't know if you guys do anything but cards or what other things you like, but I'm going to say if you go to any type of show and... You know, you don't agree with the prices, you think you can do better online, do that. Because it's a different world out there, and these dealers don't have all the power, even if they think they do. I'm not going to go into it too much, but basically, I was looking at something for $400. I looked it over. I had offered the guy 300 and ultimately 350 and he didn't want to go down. I mean, you're at a show like that, you would think you want to make sales, and I guess uh, that just wasn't the case. Uh, or maybe you thought I was going to come back for it later, and I did not. Uh, fast lane. I was wondering if that was some kind of special card. Rousey Tribute. So other than the toy show, basically just been enjoying some quiet time. That's always nice. Obviously there's some bronze in here. At this point, I don't even think they're worth stopping for, so. Since I've now done two breaks in a row this weekend, I uh, don't think it will be necessary to do one tomorrow. Plus, uh, might be a little overkill. I normally wouldn't do uh, two videos in a row as it is, but hey, it's vacation. Like I said, kind of quiet. And actually, ideal situation to do a video. You know, if anyone's done one and you're at home, not always the ideal situation if you've got other people around. Or there's a other noise, although I, I don't think any's come out in any my videos. But I can certainly hear it, and it's distracting, so it's optimal. We'll call it taping conditions here. Not 
another bronze. All right, let's get to our relic. Diva's here are Diva cards. Probably ruining that hit a little bit. And yeah, this time I'm going to say Target got the better with the IC Champion cards. More Charlotte. And our hit is a Roman Reigns Shirt Relic. Numbered 141 to 199. Not horrible. Again, we're seeing lots of shirts in this product as opposed to medallions, mat relics, things of that nature, even though we did hit a horrible medallion yesterday. And I'm also going to say, for, even though I've opened less, at least I think I've opened less Walmart than Target, uh, Target has the lead, I would say, for hit quality. Hard, though it's hard to beat a auto shirt relic 1 out of 10. I don't know if I'll almost can't imagine hitting anything better than that, but hey, you never know. I mean, so far, Target has given us not only that auto shirt relic, let's put Roman to the side, but a kiss card as well. But hey, let's uh, give Walmart a chance here. Don't know why I lost focus there, but I'm just going to keep going. There it's back. So I don't want this video to run too long. Like this is after after this one it'll be Rousey tribute. It will be four packs before the hit. Down to two packs. All right, last pack. These ones in the background will be future videos.
So I have not cracked any uh, women's division in a while, and I still have some of those left, so you can probably expect that on Wednesday. Okay. Wow, that is the exact card. Okay, well, whatever. Let's just get to it. I mean, we'll go through these quick, but yeah, we got a Matt Relic, Seth Rollins. Guess it's base, not even numbered, so nothing really special from Walmart. Wow, Seth's got a really weird look on his face there. It is from Mania, which is cool, but... So, nothing too exciting with these boxes. Definitely got to give Target the edge here. And that's it for now. As always, thanks for watching. Keep checking back.